Hi, welcome to this introductory lecture within a course on modeling and simulation of dynamical systems. My name is Zdeny Gurak and I am the one who prepared the course for you and who will guide you through it. If you want to learn more about myself, you can check the website of my group where you can find also the information about some projects and possible opportunities for collaboration. The course has been originally prepared for registered students within an undergraduate study program called Cybernetics and Robotics at Faculty of Electrical Engineering, Czech Technical University in Prague, Czech Republic. If you want to learn more about this study program, you can again check its uh, program website. Perhaps lots of interesting stuff there. The most important website, however, is apparently the website for the actual course. It's so important that I, I will put its address here explicitly. It's located on the official Moodle webpage run by the Faculty of Electrical Engineering and the most important component of the address is apparently the official code for the course. Let's now uh, check if the address is actually functional. Now, it, uh, it appears that, yes, the address is fine. You can switch between Czech and English. It's uh, perfectly bilingual and you can even log in if you are a registered student. However, even without logging in, you can access lots of, I believe, useful stuff such as video lectures. By the way, you can uh, access uh, the videos directly on YouTube if you visit our YouTube channel. Then you can find on our course website various lecture notes and possibly occasionally slides. There may be some code to be downloaded freely and you can have a look or even participate in discussions. Note that although we are sharing all this stuff happily with everyone, even with unregistered students, our course was not originally designed as the so-called MOOC. This is to say, all the visitors are warmly welcome. We will be very happy if you leave any feedback to us. However, we cannot guarantee that we could uh, consult whatever stuff with you. In the rest of this video lecture, I would like to discuss two distinguished features of this course when it comes to the organization. First, flip classroom, a pretty popular buzzword these days. So the meaning, I guess, is pretty well known. What you are expected to do at home is to study the material by yourself by watching the videos that we provided to you, uh, reading the uh, lecture notes in PDF format, possibly read also some assigned parts of the book. Then what you are expected to do when you come to the classroom is this. Uh, in what we will still, for historical reasons, call lecture, I will show you some uh, some more examples and some more benchmark or, or case studies. And then we will have quite some time to, to test your understanding. Then uh, in uh, what we call here exercises, with my assistance you will still be exposed to some more testing by filling in these online quizzes. You will have plenty of time to do consulting and those of you who will choose to do so could uh, work on uh, laboratory projects. The second distinguished feature of this course is what we will call specifications based grading. So some sort of new grading scheme. But now, what do these specifications stand for? You, may, you can find some other people referring to them as so-called competencies or learning goals. In this course, we will have two types or two classes of competencies. First, the first class uh, actually expresses that you have the knowledge and you have the understanding. The second type of the competence uh, expresses that you are capable of using the knowledge to actually solve some problem. Let me show you an example. Uh, consider a popular or well-known uh, Ohm's law. So in the first time, in the, f uh, the first type of the competence just uh, 
means that you are able to explain the Ohm's law. The second type of the competence uh, just expresses that you are capable of using Ohm's law to actually solve some problem, to find the values of voltage or current or resistance given the other two. Now, we will typically have something like 10 uh, competencies per topic, that means per week. Now, let's uh, have a look at a particular uh, set of competencies, perhaps from directly the first, first week. So you see something like 10, 10 or so. Now, the main or one of the roles of this list of competencies, fairly detailed list, is that it will assist you in actually learning. I strongly recommend having a look at it before you start watching the video or reading the book. However, it will also have another purpose in our course, and that is it will guide us in grading. So the first type of competencies will be checked by means of short online quizzes that you will fill in during exercises, whereas the second uh, class of competencies will be checked in uh, longer written tests on which you will work during what we call lectures and occasionally uh, homework assignments. Let me show you examples of the two. So for the memorize and understand type of competencies for our already mentioned Ohm's law, you will be given a few versions of, uh, of Ohm's law and your task will be to show which one is uh, the correct one. For the uh, problem solving skills related to Ohm's law, you will be given some circuit, voltage and resistance given and you will be asked to determine the current. So apparently the mapping of the competencies to the uh, tests is fairly straightforward and transparent. Now, an important aspect of our course is that you will be given some opportunity to correct for your mistake. Not an infinite number of times, we do not have a capacity for that, but at least once. Another important attribute of our grading is that it's essentially binary. Either you have the actual knowledge or not. Either you have the actual skill or not. So as you are going through the course, you are collecting these competencies and it's only towards the end of the course that we will translate the percentage of the obtained competencies into the grade. Besides these competencies, another factor that will also determine your final grade is whether or not you choose to work on semestral laboratory projects. These are completely optional. However, if you want to aim at the grade A, you need to work on two projects. If you will be happy with B or C, or C, you need to work on at least one project. Now, although your final grade should now be fully determined by your competencies and the semestral projects, still we are required to do a final exam. The exam will be oral and here is my plan. I will use it as an opportunity to recertify uh, five, o five of your uh, competencies that you declare you mastered. On the other hand, you will have an opportunity, last minute opportunity to certify up to five uh, competencies that you failed to certify during the semester. Literature. Although I'm providing you with all these videos and uh, PDF lecture notes and whatsoever, I find it really vital for you to use a book in this course. After all, this is uh, university education, right? For this course, I've chosen this particular book, a book by Forbes Brown. It's linked, I mean, the publisher's uh, website for a book is linked from the course website. The good news is that the book is available in a sufficient number of copies in the university library. So go and get your own copy. And now that's about it. What remains is to wish you a good luck and go for the first technical video in this course.